Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with a video about winlink.org's Packlink amateur radio email application. In previous videos for HF radio email, I touched on this application briefly, but I wanted to do a more in-depth video on how to download it, install it, and get it set up. Uh, the Packlink application is put out by winlink.org. This is an amateur radio initiative to provide emergency and amateur radio communications over radio waves, uh, HF, VHF, or UHF, but their applications also support a feature called Telnet, meaning an internet connection, which doesn't require you to have an internet service provider that provides you an email server. So to get this program, is you go to winlink.org and come over to software and user software, and it gives you a screen with all the different applications they have. And you have to have an amateur radio license to use this uh, program because it needs your call sign when it creates your email address. So we're going to scroll down to Packlink and it has a link here to the WinLink FTP website. And we're going to go out to that site and we're going to click on user programs. And it'll give us a list of the different user programs they have. But this video is going to be about Packlink. Now I've already downloaded this application, so I'm going to minimize the web browser here. And we'll go ahead and execute that installation package for Packlink. And we're going to accept the defaults for the installation here. And we're going to go ahead and accept the risk and do the install. And now Packlink is installed on our system. And we're going to have to come out to the C drive because it doesn't give a shortcut on the desktop. And we'll come out here and there's the Packlink folder. There's a bin folder. And here's the executable. So the first thing I do typically is create a shortcut. So I have one in the future. And I'll drag that out to the desktop. And we're going to execute the program. And this is going to start the initialization process for this application. And we'll minimize that window there. So the first thing we have to enter is our call sign. So I'm going to use my Russian call sign, R3CU. It wants a password for the Outlook client when it connects, so we're going to put 1, 2, 3, 4. The grid square is your location, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to put six zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we'll go ahead and hit Update. Now this sets the baseline configuration for the program. So we have an indication here that says Packlink 4.3.4.0 is ready, but if I go to Connect to the Internet, I have no connections. There's no active channels. Now the program gives you three options for channels, or actually four. Uh, there's Packet for VHF and UHF, PacTor for HF or shortwave, or Telnet for the internet. So we're going to go ahead and create a Telnet channel. I'm going to name it Internet and add this channel. And this is where this program's feature is kind of nice. So you can actually send and receive your ham radio email without actually having the radio. And now when we go to connect, we have an internet option. So I'll go ahead and hit connect, and you'll actually see the process taking place. This is the Packlink application interfacing on your behalf to the internet, emulating an email server. Now you also could set up the polling intervals for this application. So I I'll set this here to tell the program to go out and check for new email every 15 minutes or do a connection every time it has outbound email and we'll go ahead and hit update. So this program is split in two windows. This is the internet side and this is the local email client side over here and when your Outlook is connected to the program you'll get the indication here. So I'm going to move this up out of the way and we're going to go ahead and open Outlook. Now I have three profiles in here, my regular email, uh, one profile R3CU that I'll show you later for a remote option, and we're going to hit the local option and hit OK. Now I'm going to pull this down so you can actually see what's going to happen here. When the program comes up and starts running, you'll actually see this POP3 link. That was Outlook actually connecting to this application. So this is the interface that's taken place. Rather than going out over the internet to connect to your ISP email server, Packlink is your email server. So I'll go ahead and hit send receive again. And you'll see it shows up here as a connection. 
So we'll go ahead and send a test email so you can see the mechanics. So I hit new email and I'll put in here comms prepper. And we'll give it a subject line first test email test and I'm going to hit send. And now what will happen is Outlook down here just connected to the pack link on your local machine creating an email to go out to WinLink and because we hit the polling properties to say connect to the internet every time you have new outbound traffic the internet side went out and created a connection to the internet and sent that email for us and there you go one message sent so that actually went out to the internet so if I bring up my web browser here and look at my Gmail comms prepper inbox there it is first test email from R3CU and I can go ahead and open that up R3CU at winlink.org that's your email address your ham radio call sign at winlink.org and we got our email message in the test now I can actually hit reply and just type in here test back and I'll go ahead and hit send and that go and that's out so we sent that email so I'll minimize the web browser and we'll come over here and I'll go ahead and tell Packlink to connect to the internet and check for any new email and there should be one there from my Gmail account and there it is so we got an email in from Gmail and it's waiting in the Packlink program to go to Outlook one to the client so when we hit this send receive button we're going to pull in a new email and there it is the test back email so this has some uh, applicability I think for emergency communications or general communications if you need to send email other than using your regular internet account for an emergency or some other reason even if you don't have an piece of amateur radio equipment you can still use the telnet feature and I'll come in here and I'll actually show you real quick the configuration here and how this is set up in Outlook because I did this before I started the video and it's pretty much like any other email account your name is R3CU the email address is your e your call sign at winlink.org the incoming mail server is localhost because it resides in your local machine. Your outgoing is localhost because the server is residing on your machine locally. Your username is R3CU and the password is what we configured before, the 1234. Now I like to come in here to more settings. You have to uh, check this box. My outgoing server re requires authentication. And I'll come in here to advanced and uncheck, leave a copy of the message on the server so when you check email it actually will go away so that's kinda how winlink.org works or the packlink application from winlink.org in a local configuration but a real neat feature is let's say you have several buildings or a radio room in a basement or upstairs but you want to use your computers and want to kinda do this remotely or you have one or more computers out there you can actually do a remote configuration so what I'm going to do is turn on my remote desktop and connect to my computer that's located at my retreat location in West Virginia in my shed that I use to control my security lights. And now we're actually connecting from Moscow, Russia all the way back to West Virginia. And that's remote desktop connecting to that machine back there. So it might be a little bit slow here. And for those of you who watched my uh, security light video, you might recognize that application. So we'll go ahead and close that. And I'm going to go ahead and execute Packlink in West Virginia on my local machine back there. And I'll make this window a little bit smaller. So that's Packlink running on remote desktop back in West Virginia. I'm going to reopen Outlook. Now what I created here was a different profile that's actually pointed to the machine in West Virginia. So what you should see here is when Outlook's done running up, there it is, POP3 link from R3CU. So from my local machine here in Russia, 
I'm connecting over the internet back across the Atlantic to my retreat location in West Virginia. So we'll do a new email here. Comms Prepper. And we'll do test via West Virginia. Uh, we'll call this the long path email. Test. So I'll go ahead and hit send here. Outlook will again reach through the internet back to West Virginia. I'll hit send receive. And you'll actually see this process taking place. And there's the email. So from Russia, I connected through the internet to West Virginia. Pack Lake in West Virginia. Of course, the site properties are configured or the polling properties to connect every time there's an outgoing message. So that message was outgoing. So as soon as it came in, my PAC link in West Virginia connected automatically to the internet and sent that message out to the internet. And I should be able to come over here to my inbox here, uh, my Gmail. And there it is, test via West Virginia. So I'll go ahead and reply to that. I'm going to do another test back West Virginia. And we'll go ahead and hit send. And we'll minimize that. So we'll go back here to the server in West Virginia. Hit connect to the internet. And it should pull that message down. There it is, it got one. One message to the client, and that's the remote desktop in West Virginia. I'll hit send receive here locally in Russia. And it should go out over the internet back to West Virginia and pull that message in. And there's the message. So I think you might be able to see some applicability here. And if you're creative with networks, there's a lot of options you can come up with. But if you have, again, a radio room in a basement or upstairs and you have a laptop and a wireless network, you can actually send and receive email through the internet or through your amateur radio equipment using WinLink's PackLink application over your network for sending and receiving that email traffic. So it's a pretty neat program. I'm going to go ahead here and disconnect from my connection back there in West Virginia. Disconnect. Because I have to access that later to turn my lights on. So that's the PackLink application from winlink.org. Um, please leave a comment below if you have any questions. Let me know what you think about the video. This is the new format with the Camtasia screen recorder. So I'm kind of fumbling through this. So I, I hope you guys like this new format and the resolution is good enough so this stuff makes sense. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with winlink.org's PackLink email application.